What is good, this is Wally Just Death Dog here, and welcome back to another Final Cut tutorial. Uh, sorry, I've made videos the past two days. I was sick, so now I'm getting ready to get back into it. So let's start up by opening up our Final Cut Pro, full screen it, and now we're gonna switch over back to our project. Switch right over to that, and here we go. And now today we're going to be talking about video effects. And the way we're going to be doing this is I'm going to show you all the different kinds of effects. Let's just get that, get rid of that. Different kinds of effects you could put on your videos and which ones I think work the best. And yeah, so if you really want to, you could pull this all the way out to here if you want to see all of it. Don't understand that. So we're going to keep it just like this. And we actually want to, alright, well, if you want, let's close all these actually, except for the one we want, which is that, but we can also just close that. Alright, if you want video effects, you're going to want to come over here, and you're going to click this, and it's going to bring up all these effects. Now some of these you'll notice you're not going to have, like you don't have, uh, hold on, you don't have this, you don't have this. These are mine. I got these from a, uh, let's call it, uh, what do we call it, DLC, uh, packets or whatever. I got these added on. So, if you, I'm going to do a separate video covering how to add these, and that will be sometime in the future. But it, the, same, the process is still exactly the same if you want to add effects to a clip. So, let's just say I want to make a montage, and I want to make it look like... Lens flare, which I don't understand who would use this. If you just click, actually, first, if you click the clip in the timeline and then scroll over it, the effect, it will give you a preview. You can actually just press the space bar and it'll play. And you could do that with all these. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Or you could do what I do and just. If you already know what the effect looks like, and you you use it all the time, like uh, uh, where is it? There we go. I like to use this a lot, Vinaigrette, because it makes the sides look darker, or the vibrancy. This is also a good one. So if you already know what the, you want, you don't have to see see the preview. You could just do, you could do that, and you could do. Open a copy of motion. Uh. Clip, cl click, and drag. Right over the clip. And we'll get that into that in a minute. Uh. All right. That made this. Some of you that are seeing this for the first time, like me, this might look a little complicated. But it's very easy to understand if you just open up the inspector. And it gives you all these options that you can choose from. And this is just basically the blur amount. Now, hold on, let's just actually just look at this. How, how dark you want it on the sides, the size, the face off, which is kind of like that. Uh, blur amount, let's actually just make that smaller, make the blur amount larger. You could toggle the effects, uh, the uh, the color. We could go over to here and just say we want to match uh, that that red. All right, and we could just hide that. Go away. Go away. I thought you could actually match the colors. You could do that. Balance, match color, balance. Those are some other things. Transform. This will let you actually take the effect. And that actually lets you take the whole thing and move it. Command Z, get that back into place. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. And now we're going to move on to audio effects. So let's actually bring up some audio. That's good. 
Then as you can see, I have this around. And some of you may notice that it that everything looks a lower quality when you're actually playing the clip. But that is not how it's going to turn out. It actually looks like when you pause it, how everything becomes clear. That's actually how it looks. Like, for example, look at the word, uh, look. It doesn't look good. That, that looks better. That's normal. It just does that so you don't lose frames when you're editing. So now we're going to come over to, let's actually just get rid of this. And done. So now we want to add audio effects. And, well, first of all, these are all grouped into different categories. Uh, basic, which are just, these are the big effects. See, these are the ones I got. These are mine that I got. These are distortion. They make it look weird. Glass block. Oh, my God. That hurts my eyes. I like heat. This looks kind of cool. And keying. As you can see, they're all different. These are kind of cool, too. <laughs> now, audio. Say I want this audio to sound like it came out of a walkie-talkie. You can just go into audio, click all, search walk walkie talkie drag that over and now listen it sounds like it's coming out of a walkie talkie and now actually I think you could do this you could do that and actually no wrong button collapse out your video there was a uh, show audio animation I uh, don't need that. There's there's a button that lets you sh uh, see what that. Uh... Also, if you want to rename clip, just come in here, and we will call this final. Oh. Cut to its Oreo. So now that's what the clip is called, and you could also detach the audio, so you can work with the audio specifically. So, how's now it sounds like it's coming out of walkie talkie. Now, these are all grouped into different groups, just like the video ones. So, for instance, if you could still do the th same thing, click on it and then roll over this, and you could hear it. Uh, for uh, say you wanted to make it sound like a car, it sounds very muffled, maybe a TV. Yeah, so that's pretty much it with effects, guys. And if you guys have any questions, leave that down in the comments. Like, if you wanted to know how to edit a certain effect using the inspector. Uh, you can also edit uh, the uh, audio effects with the inspector. Say we just want, I don't know, it's car radio. Click that. Goes into the inspector. There are some presets. Like, you do the amount, and now it sounds more. Like a car radio, I guess. You could do, you could adjust everything just like you'd be able to with the video effects. Alright, that seems to be it uh, for this tutorial, guys. So if you want to see anything else specifically, just let me know down in the comments. I'm actually going to make one on the next little thing over here, which is going to be the camera button. So look out for that later today. And it, the front that like button, it's been Death Hog, and I am out. Boop, boop.